Hey there, it's Susan talking about this week's KPI, which is billable percentage by technician, which shows you what percentage of actual hours worked were considered billable. So I'm going to show you how to build a gauge that calculates this for you. So click on your green plus sign and select gauge and choose whatever PSA you're using to track time entry. So maybe Tiger Paw or Autotask or ConnectWise, which I'll use in this example, and use the time entry data set. And then I'm going to build this as a table gauge because it leaves the details of each layer up while you're building it. So it helps you keep things organized. And since we're looking into hours here, we're going to measure by the sum of the actual hours. And we're going to filter for the date you wish to view it by. So for this example, I'll do current week, but you can choose whatever makes most sense for you. And since I want to see this by technician, I'm also going to add a member ID dimension here. Now keep in mind that depending on the PSA you're using, these field names may vary slightly. So you'll see here that each of my technicians is listed and the number of actual hours they've entered is listed as well. So I'm going to go ahead and clone this layer. And I'm going to add another filter, which is billing status. And I only want to see billable hours. So I'm going to choose is billable. So now you'll see that for each technician, they entered a certain amount of actual hours worked, but a certain amount were only considered billable. So to get that billable percentage rate, you're going to now calculate a metric. And you're going to do billable hours divided by actual hours to get that rate. So design is really important here for two reasons. Number one, you want to name your columns so that when you look at this gauge, it's easier to digest. But more importantly, you want to change the way your number is displayed to include two decimal points, because if you don't do that, then the number will round up or down depending on the actual hours entered and minutes will not be taken into account. So you won't be getting a very accurate number for each of your technicians. So make sure that you do that for both your actual hours and your billable hours. So now minutes are, take, are being taken into consideration and that percentage will be a lot more accurate. And then also make sure you change your billable percentage to be displayed as a percent. And there you go. You'll see the billable percentage per technician. And you want to leave the layers showing as opposed to hidden because it provides a lot of context as to why the percentage might be what it is. For example, C being worked three hours and all three hours were considered billable. So he has a 100% billable percentage rate. But A Dosal worked almost 23 hours of which 21 were considered billable. So he has a 91% billable percentage rate. So you want to just keep these details in mind. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions at any time, please feel free to reach out to support at brightgauge.com. Have a good one.